Last year when the Chainsaw Man PV trailer dropped, the whole internet went like this. While I was over here like this. Everyone was changing their profile pictures. People were barking for this bitch. Makima. And for the life of me, I could not understand the hype. But my friend scooped up all the manga that was printed in English up until that point and begged me to read it as soon as he was done with it. Initially, I said no, but after days of him begging me to read, I finally said, all right, Ace, I'll read them. Give me the books. And of course, they sat on my desk for two months without ever being opened. And again, I felt bad, I just could not give a single fuck about any of the hype. I told him, hey Ace, man, listen, I'm waiting for the anime, I promise I'll watch it, alright, I promise. So of course, when the anime came out, I, I just didn't watch it. And I really wanted to know why, why I wasn't watching it, because if I did, I'd probably love it. Is it because I'm getting older, and I have just no desire to watch anime or play video games? All these things I've loved my entire life that made up such a large part of my life, I just don't want to do them anymore. Why is that? I have people telling me every single week how amazing this show is, and I just brushed them off for so long. Is it because of some recent experiences that I had, especially with video games like Cyberpunk and BDSMP? And the only new anime I even started this year was Bungo Stray Dogs, which came out all the way back in 2016, but, uh, yeah. They're brother and sister, for Christ's sake. There's just too much schlop fed to us. All we do is constantly consume the same generic content. Anime, video games, movies, music, YouTube videos, you name it, it's all the same. Except Chainsaw Man. Holy shit. You got Denji over here carving this sorry son of a bitch up. You got power over here saying, oh man, this is worse than that one time where I got swallowed by that bat. <laughs> then you got Denji over here touching power with the shit covered hands. And Makima has the sign language death note. Now while the show is incredibly aesthetic and badass, what hit me the most was Denji. <laughs> He's different from all the other shonen protagonists. He's not fueled by revenge or to become the greatest or the strongest. He just wants to live, and he's trying his best to do so. All he wants to do is have delicious food, have a safe place to live, and grab some tits. And at the end of the day, isn't that what we're all trying to do?